I know you're like interviewing me here, but let me let me ask you a question really quickly. Sure, ask what, me what made you and obviously I have my own reasons, but what made you want to, you know, go into making your own brand and establishing your own brand, you know? Um like, was it an instantaneous kind of just yo, know, I wanna make my own brand, I think it'd be dope. Um, or was it just like <laughs> I wanna stop paying high price for clothes and I wanna make my own clothes cheaper, at least that's what I do now, man. So, um I don't know, what was it? Like what made you wanna make your own brand? I mean, obviously you have um entrepreneur kind of mindset for sure. At least that's what I think personally, because I believe I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. Um honestly I don't think of myself as an entrepreneur. I just think of myself as fucking resourceful. Yeah. The one thing I always love about the Marine Corps that I will always remember is that we make the most out of nothing. So you work with whatever you have. Yeah. Kind of thing, yeah. Because I always, my ultimate goal was to sustain my lifestyle. Yeah. I like a lot of things. Yeah. I'm, I'm highly curious yeah. about a lot of shit. Um, and I, I, was, I like feeling happy. Yeah. And the thing about me is when I feel happy, it's because... I have good people around me. No one's holding me down. And like the same thing with the management. Like if I ever have a boss who tells me like, you got to do it like this, 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 in this order. But if I get the same product done uh, even faster, I'm like, why why are you going to be like, why are you going to tell me I have to go through this process if I can go around but still have the same morals? Yeah, for sure. Um, In terms of the, the brand, I don't know. It's like, it kind of just happened for me personally, man. Yeah, like it just happened. Like for me, I just I wanted to train. I was thinking about like, hmm, my clients, my clients specifically, I, I believe they're a little bit more introverted because that's how I relate to them because okay. I feel like I'm introverted. Really? Yeah. As energized and hyper as you are, you don't think you're a little, a little extrovert? Just a little bit. I mean, yeah, I, to be honest, like, I don't know if, if you, because you don't know my backstory. No, I don't. My backstory was that all throughout schooling, I was by myself. Okay. Like, I'm one of four half brothers. Yeah. And my next oldest brother towards me is 11 years. Okay. Um, I, pr- I feel like I've said this many times on the podcast. It's cool. But um, just to let, have you, give you the backgrounds, like, I felt like I was the only child, uh, my parents were always at work. They gave me whatever I wanted in terms of like food and necessities. So you felt like you were more to yourself kind of thing throughout that I, time period? I just learned how to be efficient by myself. Which I think is, that's important. Man. Yeah, I completely agree. Like important. in this day and age where people we have... People are too dependable on other people and stuff like that too. At least that's what I think. Uh, I don't think they're too depend- dependent on other people. I think of that they more they care about what other people think. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Yeah, because yeah. in in my perspective, it's just like I. So did you I not care, care about what other people think, or you don't care about about what other people think? I uh, there's just a part of me that thinks that, I'm very uh, what's the word? It starts with an N. Narcissistic. Not narcissistic. Yeah. 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 Because like I just wanted, like I told you earlier, I want to be number one. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what happened in the process, yeah. like. Like if you're you're my competitor, I'm just you're gonna, gonna crush him. Yeah. yeah, but that's just my mindset. But in in reality, I'm like, you're my boy. Though. You're still a caring person. Yeah, yeah like yeah, I, for sure. I, I I realized that I think what really hit me like the reason why I started the the brand as well, but my the logo, it's the uh, the corporal logo, okay. meaning it's the first stage of being an NCO, a non commissioned officer in the yeah. Marine Corps, and then at that point, I realized that I was in charge of other people. And then I've always realized when I was working for other people, like into my managers, they didn't treat me the way I wanted to be treated, as just as a human being. Yeah, no, I definitely, definitely, uh, I get that. So yeah. now when I'm put in a point of position where I am a leader, I'm like, fuck, I'm not going to do what they did. Yeah, you want to treat people the way you want to be treated. Right. Actually, yeah, that was, <laughs> I definitely, I've always wanted to create like yeah. a trailer yeah. for, for <laughs> anyone who ever wanted to do like uh, media type project yeah. with me like I, de- I I have this picture for me in kindergarten yeah I li- it's like a yarn yarn necklace with a little like uh cardboard paper saying like best sheriff <laughs> I got that award and I was so <laughs> proud of it. I was so happy <laughs> because like uh, this is me like I I had what I had yeah I was I was self-sustained I was good but then now I can give to others and then I kind of realized that once I became an NCO and I was like it's important yeah. 
like that that's what makes me that, that's what makes me happy it yeah. makes me happy it makes me feel fulfilled for sure and i feel like it's the same way from you from hearing your story mm -hmm. um i don't know like i just i just want to share as much information that i have because I, at the longest time i always wanted to like explore the things i've never known yeah no i <clears throat> i definitely agree with that hard